My videos have changed through the months and I think I've definitely made my channel better. So we're gonna take a blast through the past and watch my first video. Okay guys, we're here. Um, uh, let's just hop right into it. Okay, we're right here. Uh, just more background. Um, this is my first time like ever using CapCut before. I use a different software called Glow, but like this is the first time I ever like really edited. So we're gonna check it out and uh, here we go. Okay, so that, I went into a different project on CapCut, um, and I made like a couple texts falling down and the GameCube-like thing going. That's why there's like a CapCut ending. Um, and I will, I will try not to pause it as much, but yeah, that, that's why. Hey guys, so. welcome to the first episode of V History, and today we're going to be learning on NES game, Excite Bike. Let's get started. <laughs> Bro, my voice is so high, I this side part. <laughs> My eyebrows is like insane. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Excite that. Bike was released in Japan for the Famicom in 1984, and then ported. Okay, so a little background right now. This is pretty amazing that I did this for how bad I was editing videos, I guess. Um, but I took history off of Safari or whatever. I looked at like when it was made, who made it, um, and all those cool things. I thought it was pretty pro then. It, it's pretty cool now. Uh, it's just the editing part, honestly. I feel like a gaming historian, he's like one of my favorite YouTubers to watch for like gaming stuff. He he does really well on that. You guys should still and subscribe to him. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I didn't get into like who came up with it and like why it was really made a game, but I kind of just gave some facts. Some, like, facts. To the arcades is versus excite bike in north america it was intentionally released for a kick intentionally in 1985 and then as a launch title game for the nintendo entertainment system later that year becoming one of the best selling games on the system with 4.16 million so units sold. the nintendo team in tokyo developed excite bike excite bike was the first game shigeru miyamoto and toshi nako worked on <laughs> Tenjuchi Nacho. <laughs> Tenjuchi Nacho. What? I don't even know what I said. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is posted on YouTube. This got like 38 views, which is actually insane. But, oh, Tenjuchi Nacho. Oh my gosh. Together. They would commonly travel to Tokyo. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, you know, we're on the bed. To assist the team and stay down in Tokyo for a few days and share a hotel room together. Excite Bike is normally worth out of the box loose fifteen bucks. Out of the box loose. But if you want it in the box in pretty good condition, it normally costs you sixty four dollars. Hey guys, thanks for learning about this. Oh. <laughs> okay, got it. Bro, I literally woke up like the next morning because I was like, I gotta get this video done before my mom wakes up. Because she was like, Nash, I don't want you recording videos right now. It's so early. So, I my voice was like, Did you ever watch the Excite Bike with me? Now, I think I'm gonna go and play some myself. That was the cringiest thing ever. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna go and edit this video by myself. Oh my gosh. And it shows the CapCut ending. So like that is very on pro. Not good. Um, oh my gosh. That was my first video, guys. That's freaking insane. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're- Wow. Dang, okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I guess I could give you guys some feedback on it. I think I did pretty good for my first like video edited really. I did some Zuba. If you guys know what Zuba is, it's like over here. Oh, I don't know, there's an ad or something. I might leave it in the uh, description. It's like the Battle Royale game. I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, and yeah, I made videos about that. Um, and then I had an older channel called Nash Gamer. And I, I deleted those videos so I literally can't get them anymore. But like, I did Super Mario 3D World 1, like part, part 1 or something. No thumbnail. I didn't know how to put thumbnails on then. So like, it's really insane how much I've evolved like in one year. Cause like I did I did like my YouTube goals video, which that was like the one year anniversary, I guess, or whatever. Oh no, that was my three YouTube tips thing. Um, but 
that that was when like I came up with my Nash Gamer channel. So like it's been one year of me on YouTube learning how to make thumbnails and videos. And, um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you guys like this video and give me any feedback that you think I can make it better or whatever. And just make sure to subscribe and do a lot of cool things. So make sure to subscribe.